Welcome back. Um, today I'm going to be sharing my My Heart of Thanksgiving journal, um, The King's Daughter, with you. My name is Michelle, and here is where you can find me most days on social media, any of those platforms. You can find me right here. So I am a creative team member for Pink Paper Peppermints, and here is all of Melissa's details. I'll hold this here so you can get the QR code. Anything that um, you see here today in my book, you can purchase in her shop right here, pinkpaperpeppermints.com. You can find some more inspiration on Instagram at Pink Paper Peppermints or on my Instagram also. And that is linked below. So, again, this was um, My Heart of Thanksgiving 2023. And we did that from October 14th through November 19th, 2023. And I'm actually filming this on <laughs> reveal day for the Christmas kit. So, stay tuned at the end of the video. And I'll just go right into that. Um, so... This is my journal. Um, I had originally planned to use a different cover for my journal, but I actually did a tutorial on how to make the wide spine journal for this kit. So I ended up just using this. I did it in paper, and this one is done in fabric. Um, and again, I use that Pellon product and I'll try to link it below for somewhere. I'll get it and link it for you. Um, and one day maybe I will be able to put together a tutorial on how I, um, actually print these out. This is actually printable fabric and we've talked about that before and how I can, um, it's just a matter of how long the video will be and it i know people don't like to watch very long videos so um again the um the theme of this was the king's daughter and this was just a little zipper pouch that i made for myself and i kept a few little um doodads in it um before i put them in my book and you can also see that right there the king's daughter and um, this was the wide spine version and it only came in this color. And I'll show you another journal that is actually, I don't know if you can see that. Hold on, I'll see if I can open this up where you can see it, where both journals are. This is another journal that's, this one was just lined paper and the junk journal was, this one so these if you printed them the just the regular spines which is this one and this one these came in many many colors but the the large spine the two inch spine only came in brown so I actually have three journals in one here so I just thought I'd explain that to you just a little bit so again um if you watched my previous video for 2022 which i actually just filmed in 2023 you know that i like to put my um even though i have my big uh, calendar of what we're gonna do on my wall i like to commemorate and put it in my book and these were just um well actually these were bonus papers that came with the bonus prizes that melissa put together and after each demo after several demos actually she would sell those participation prizes she would sell those in her shop so um she added a few papers and that is on the front and back of this and um this is actually cardstock and again i printed one of her pretty papers here so and this kit was a little bit different it had over 60 papers in here to choose from and believe me it was very hard to choose 
So, but let's get started. I'm going to see if I can take this book out of here. It's, um, again, I always do strings or elastics, whichever way you want to call them, um, because I like to lay my book flat when I'm working, um, just so that I can write or, you know, sometimes you have to mash things down and glue them. Um, just different things. It's just easier that way for me. So let me move. Um, well, here, let me take this other. And this was just um, another, just kind of like a folder that I kind of make just to kind of, and I actually, when you do, um, your elastics you can actually make another band and when your book is through here you can actually add this onto a book I'm, I'm not sure y'all were aware of this but you can add on so what you would do is just um, put this other book through here like that and slide it down to the bottom so I could potentially have another one of these but um like I said I just make these just to house some of the pretty ephemera there's so much ephemera and sometimes it just doesn't well this is a giant journaling tag but sometimes it just doesn't all fit in my book but I want it and I want to keep it so and I want it displayed and so I try to make these little Again, these are just little cardstock that you can run through your printer. I didn't run the back of this one through my printer. I only print on one side, but I did ink it up to make it look old. And this was just um, a piece of uh, glitter paper that I had, and then I actually printed one of Melissa's papers and glued it onto the back of that because the back of this was white and you can't really run that through your printer. Well, actually, you might could, and I'm good at putting stuff that I shouldn't through my printer, so, but I happened to not do that this time <laughs> because I was just in a hurry. So, let me pull this one out. So, um, and here's that cover. It's just, uh, and these paper, these were Melissa's papers too, all of that. It just printed them on that printable fabric. And I'll, all of that's linked in her Amazon store, and I'll link it below. So, this was what I like to refer to as my um, faith art journal, I guess, because it's more um, the junk journal type thing. And then this was where I concentrated on um, writing my scriptures out, documenting those. Um, I did some of the headings that she had in the book, and you'll see that I'll try to turn pages together. So, but then at the each, the end of each week, I did a gratitude page or pages and wrote down what I was thankful for um, that week or something in my life that I was thankful for that um, came to my mind as I went through the study. So this is week one, and I want to show you these. These are so cute. Again, if you watched my previous video, um, she did little doors because the theme was heart and home, so we had little front doors. But since this <laughs> is the king's daughter, we had to have like castle doors. So, and I didn't mind this way where um, you open them this way, but some people did them like it was like a drawbridge door. And you, I just kept mine. So, this comes as one piece. And so, you can either cut it down the middle or you can leave it whole and flip it down. And, of course, it has the little tabs, and I just cut the other tab off. So, if you did it this way, you would cut the side tabs off. And, again, I'll link all this in the um, description below. But these were our prompt cards for each week. And I just put some little pearl things that comes in a little tube, and you just squeeze it out and make it look like a little bead. It looks like a door handle. 
So, um, and a lot of the team members did some very cute things with these. So just try to go back and see if they have any videos and I'll show you those. So, and I just kept making pockets or tucks to keep these in. So, um, again, this was week one, the lot, a lot of scripture in here and, um, I tried to document some things and I would, again, so, um, rest was the theme for that. And so, and these books run together. So again, I put rest here and then I concentrated on the scriptures that spoke to me because there is a lot of them. <laughs> so, and, um, this is a sticker that's over a piece of ephemera, and this is some stamps that I um, embossed over that. And again, that is a double journaling tag that I didn't cut apart. These print double on a page, so and I turned it backwards. Usually it would be the other way, but I wanted this girl in this chapter, so I turned it backwards. And um, here's our prompt. And she has a couple questions, and then you can answer the questions. And then she says, journal a page if you want to. And I waited until I got to the full page to do my journal stuff. So um, this is for the, the whole week one is I just picked out some of the things that spoke to me the most and um, just kind of did that that way and then some of the scriptures and again that would be um this one and this one and victory and then there is my um grateful page i'm grateful for and i wrote those things down so and then um you go into week two and again there's that door now this one I think I did a little bit different yeah I put a little glittery paint over it sometimes I really did them up and sometimes I just felt like you know I just think I'll leave them the way they are so and I had um this is a folder pocket I cut out a folder and um, out of that uh, paper that looks like wood and just um, glued it on the sides so that I could just slip it in and this was a journaling card that I cut out so that's not the whole card but that is in the kit so and we're talking about again um, you can see it there stand and it was back there to stand so um and our hymn was solid rock so um we talked about in in this section you'll see where we talked about the armor the different pieces of armor and then the armor as a whole and there again was the prompt and uh this was where I did my full spread and Melissa had all of these pieces that you print out. And um, this was a little card that had the scripture on it that um, came with a keychain that had all of the pieces of armor that someone gave me for this. So then we, um, I documented the armor pieces um, and the scriptures that went with that. And again, we were concentrating on stand. And then um, here is my grateful page. And I documented the things that I was grateful for that week. And then um, this was week three and the word was speak. And I um, just kind of put a little glitter on that. And there was a little crown I had that some felt. And again, um, 
all these cute little doors. I did put a little sparkle on that. You can't see it as good because the flower is a different color. But um, these things are so cute. Again, I did a little pocket. Y'all know I'm a pocket gal, so pockets, pockets. So um, this was talking about um, speaking in prayer and supplication. So that's what I started this my page for this week on. So, um, and again, um, standing on the promises was the hymn for that week. So, um, did that. And so I was talking about speaking this one, Second Corinthians 10, and pray at all times. So, that was up here, pray at all times. And here it is some more of just the ephemera that goes with this week. So, and um, each week has that crest that was in um, your prompt over there. So, and this was um, this week for Speak the Word. And um, she asked us to write out a verse that was special to us for that week. And this was mine, Exodus 14, 14. And this is one of my favorite pieces of ephemera. I don't know if you can see that. Anyway. And this was the first wax seal I ever done. Because I don't have, I didn't have it until we started this. So, um, that was something and this was uh i don't know if you can see that hold on this was actually i've got it kind of glued down a little bit you can see that you can pick it up it was a cupcake wrapper at a reception that i went to not too long ago and um they all of the cupcakes didn't get eaten so they took the wrappers off of them because they were going to donate them somewhere at um some place that needed them. Anyway, I took some of these wrappers and kept them in my drawer. And so I just thought that kind of went with this paper. And I did some um, kind of gray sparkly on the butterflies that were in there. I don't know if you can see that it's sparkly. It's too close to the camera, I think. But anyway, again, after the prayer and supplication, is all of the scriptures and then of course it talked about the key to that and then my thankful page is there so then we start week four and I didn't well this is kind of a pocket it is a piece of paper that I just kind of glued on three sides and then you just slide that in there but again, these pretty, and this one I didn't put any glitter on. Can you believe it? <laughs> but this was like a really, really pretty color scheme this week. Not that the others are not pretty. They are pretty. But um, I'm just, um, and this one started out um, believing, believing our Father's word. So I uh, um, stamp believe and did those verses and then we, back here it talks about treasured and again get the fight the good fight was our um him and then yeah right here is some of the these verses and again, this, this was, I think it was from one of the demos we got these leaves. So this kind of matched. And I, again, printed them on that fabric, printable fabric. And then that was just a piece of felt that I sewed it to. And then I glued it down in here. So, and I love these cards. I have to have them in every one of these books that I do each Um time we do my heart of thanksgiving so um and this was just a verse that i really like a key verse that i like so i put it on that 
the back of that um, giant journaling tag. And this was, I think I have it somewhere else too. I don't know if y'all can see that. It's the second Timothy 1, 13 and 14. Hold the pattern, guard the treasure. That was one of the verses that really spoke to me after I looked it up. So I just encourage you to look a lot of this stuff up in your own version of your Bible or in a study Bible if you have one. So, and again, um, this was the verse that was it, the one, because she asked you what verse most spoke to you, and again, that was the one, and then she had it on that too. So, um, anyway, and that was the last one, and then that was um, Choose to be Grateful that week. So, um, and then that was the last page was I documented a lot of um, the verses that were left that I didn't write out in my book over there, or maybe I did, I can't remember. Anyway, I wanted to document them in this book and we had all these pretty things to document them with. So I decided to go ahead and do that. And then of course we got the tabs. So, and one more little book. This is cute. Again, we always get a cup of some sort, and you can put your little papers in there and write on them. And there was, you can make pockets in there. So, I have some of the ephemera in here. There's one there and there. And I hadn't finished this yet, but I'm going to. So, um again thank you for watching my video i just want to go over this real quickly with you because it is still 2023 and um just remind you that you can purchase this and these any of these small heart of thanksgiving kits are not dated so they are um good for any time i mean studying god's word is always time to study god's word each and every day so this would no matter what you're going through or what you're doing this is a perfect study for you because um you are the king's daughter just to let you know and um it would be a good time to study and just apply that to your life if you're um struggling so stay tuned next and I will show you the release of the 2023 Christmas kit. Okay, so here we are. This is the True Light kit and this is for Advent and we're really she's releasing it in 2023 and here it is your journal that you're going to write in. This is what it looks like. Very pretty colors. And she has released a lot of other things. There is a folio that I do not have ready. And this is your companion book that goes with it. And your days are numbered. So you have these little tabs that goes with it and you have a little stand that you just slide your cards in and it stands up like that I know you can't see that but it does stand up so this is released the true light collection and there is like three new items. This was released for a very short time in July of 2023. It was Christmas in July. And then she took it off and designed some more things to go with it. So again, if you want to get in on Advent, we will start December 1, 2023. If you're watching this later, you can start it any time.
that you want to any year. It's not dated by year, but just this will be the first year that we've done this. Again, pinkpaperpeppermints.com is where you can shop. If you want more inspiration, go over to Instagram, and that will be at pinkpaperpeppermints. Or if you want to see my stuff on Instagram, because I will be going through this same Advent study for 2023 with everyone else. So, and this is my details. Okay. Thanks for watching my video. See you soon.